Get out! Get out! Get out! You're good, man. No, you're cool. Just crashed out. Trust me, you wouldn't want to be in place of these officers. Number one, trip to prison. Running back to where that car was parked. You're good, man. No, you're cool. Can you just walk to me, please? Two burglars had just sat in the car when a cop caught them in the act. Oh, you're here. Keep your hands out of your pockets for me. Make sure I ain't got nothing. Yeah, no, you're good, man. You mind if I just push you? Bring your hands back here. You're not going in handcuffs. No. You're all right. No, I know you haven't. I'm all right, so I know you said there's no drugs in there. Is there any reason that you can think of why my dog would give me an indication that there might be narcotic odor in there? No, my girl just smoked marijuana, but okay. she smoked a while. I'm around. Okay. I know it's none of you. All right. Um, so obviously the dog did alert on the outside. I'm sure you saw that on the door over here. I, I asked him to go quicker if I just did this thing. Yep, just put your hands behind your back. Two eggs and one four? Yep, just one minute. The only exit they will make out of here is in the police car heading to the prison. Number two, citizens assemble. Sometimes you need a bit of help from the outside. In this case, the officer already had closed the gap on the robbers, but he kept slipping away. Six on The citizens noticed the officer's struggle and decided to step in. The Myers parking lot. Just crashed out. He blocked the crook's path and helped the cops arrest the guy. This man is going to tell this story for the remainder of his life. Back up! Get your fucking hands up and stay there! Number three, the stubborn suspect. All right, he just slowed up with the thing and he used her to give her up. Then he used her to climb. This guy was on the move from the police, but he had no intention of getting caught. After luring the officers into the parking lot, the crook thought he had it all figured out. When a police officer tried to stop him, he flew onto the other corner of the road. The car almost crashed, but another police vehicle accidentally got it back on its feet. The runner was on the move again. A few miles down the road, the officers finally gave it another push, and that was enough for it to stop moving. Six three one two three eight five. I'm gonna agree on all of the points. Six three one five and we're done. Operated the uh, entrance way, 
Good luck getting out of there, fella. Number 4. The Abrupt End A few pesky robbers were trying to tease the police. They had stolen several luxury cars and had no intention of leaving the chase high and dry. Passing national right now. West Dallas 306, we're in pursuit of several Range Rovers, southbound 894, passing Cleveland right now. Obviously, probably going to be stolen from dealerships. But the officers didn't stick to the classics. Black SUV, and we have two white SUVs. Doug, I'm staying on this black and white one right now. Coming up on uh, the Bloyd exit, still south, speed's at 100. All right, this Range Rover lost all its rubber. This one's slowing down, I'm gonna stick with that one, but the other one is slowing down with it. Need some squads up here. I'm gonna go for a pit here shortly. They're gonna bail, they're gonna bail. Alright, that other sheriff, watch that other one in front of it. There's another Range Rover slowing down to cover for this car. They tried to match the pace of the robbers on the run. Alright, give me some more up here. Looks like I got one sheriff with me. We're back up to 86 miles an hour, coming up on Ramsey. Hey, let me One of them broke during the chase and took his pace way too far. Down or at least down. Well, yep, he's gonna lose it. Nope, he's slowing down. 90. He's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose it. He's gonna lose it. Crash! 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 car lost control on the highway, spinning erratically and coming to an embarrassing halt. Cover me! Cover me! Pray! Cover me! Cover me! Move! Cover me! Let me see your f***ing hands! The crook was all ready to be dragged by the police to the station. Probably shouldn't have shown off that much. Hey, can you get my phone? No. Everyone chill. We're good. We're good. Can you make sure there's nobody else in there? Bring him over here. Be quiet. Take him over there. Yeah, well, too bad. Number six, the crafty chase. No play. Westbound. 480 westbound. A vehicle was on the run, throwing items to try to stop the police cars. Yeah, that would have worked really fine, guys. He's in the speed lane. We're in the middle of the bridge, crossing over into Valley View. I don't know if he's going to be getting off his transportation or not. 58 on behind him, left on his head, and trying to catch up with you on. The only thing that did was make the cops more angry. Pass it behind Kite, Kite's high. So, Kite's that spike, let me know. On that black By taking a sharp turn, the robbers ended up slamming straight into a car. They just hit a vehicle to bail. <laughs> One male bailed. One male bailed. He hit my car. Tell that Garfield, yeah, he's got to pursue on his own. My vehicle is dysfunctional at this point. 
Lorraine. Next truck or vehicle, West 85th and Lorraine. I'm out on foot. Cuffs, 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 cuffs. I got cuffs, I got cuffs. One guy got out and started running on foot. The car sped away, but the man found a way to flee the scene. While one car went after the robber behind the wheel, the other cornered the crook. He was already pulling his arms up in the air. He knew he was done for. Right. I'm gonna sit. Roll, roll that knee, I'm gonna help you up, all right? Right knee, roll up. Ah, oh, where you tried to scoot past me. I tried to give you as much room as I could because I knew you were coming in hotter than I was. Number seven, the goose chase. Here comes the pit, here comes the pit, and... This clown car had led the police on a rough chase with the officer scrambling. So, the police decided to up their numbers because the robber kept slipping away. Seeing that many cop cars, the crook got panicky and bolted straight to a park. Where are we doing, Mr. Ed? There was no way out, and he knew it. The cops slowly inched closer to the crook. One of them rammed straight at the robbers, and the car rolled right over. All right, we're still northbound on the sidewalk. That left the crook sliding down the ditch and falling right into the trap of the cops. Number eight, robber strikes an officer. This man did not just flee from the cops, but he also struck a police car and put the life of an officer in danger. For anything, keep your hands up and step out of the car. Step out of the car. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. You can guess how it went down for him. No, hey! Number nine, the unusual chase. The Cleveland and Sycamore, Ohio Temporary Queen 828997. This chase ended before it could begin. Traffic stop. Traffic stop. On scene. Traffic stop. Cleveland RD slash Sycamore Lines and Dusky. The robber had fled the scene right in the middle of a traffic stop. But the guy couldn't get far into the scene. He crashed into a pole. He's found in Cleveland. The reason for the stop is weaving, I believe it's point 19. Speeds are excess speed. The officers tried to get him to hop out of the vehicle, but he wanted another chance with the battered car. So, he raced back, only for the car to break down a few miles into the road. There's a car rolled over here, 2101. Talk about luck. Caught in the act. This guy looks like a normal customer coming out of the store, but what he didn't know was the store had alerted the cops that he was shoplifting. The cops made a grand entrance and arrested the man right there and then. Would you look at his face though? It seems like the cop is the one in the wrong. Typical. Number 12, no way out. <laughs> Westbound in the city on 
The man behind the wheel is a burglary suspect who thinks he can outrun the cops. Good work, very well. It didn't last long though. The police officer brought him down to the ground with a swift move. Man, he just rammed into me. We're gonna be I'm not sure what on a box is. Station now. It landed the vehicle in a ditch from which he quickly recovered but that was the only power move he would pull over the cops. A few miles down the road, karma hit him so fatally that he crashed into a building. Here in my car, maybe 10-7. I may have to drop out if you got another unit close. Back here, he's still economy. He can't build these if you want to 66 I'm at Lake Warehouse. 10-4, northbound on the map. Go on the block. The vehicle's tire was spotted rolling away. I'm 10, my car's 10 7. I'm at the 400 block. He's still northbound. Number 13, the tough arrest. This dash cam footage shows the struggle of three officers going all in to try and arrest the robber. But boy, he wouldn't budge. It wasn't until minutes later that they finally put him down. You can't be the only one to say it. Cops have it really tough. Number 14, the robber on the run. Officers have no mercy on runners, no matter what crime they have stamped on their records. This guy was a thief who had run from the store with loot in his hands. As soon as he got to the parking lot, the police caught up with him. That's when the action happened. The officer tried to chase down the robber and bring him to a halt, but that stubborn bonehead just wouldn't stop. So the officer decided to take him down using the vehicle. With one tackle, the robber was down on the ground. Hey, same thing. At least the robber was arrested, right? Number 15, sly move. This guy thought of running away from the cops, but the officers had already boxed him. With one move, the cop tore onto its side and left the vehicle hanging in the parking lot. Talk about the cleanest pit maneuver in the block. The men in the car tried to flee on foot, but didn't get far. The matching vehicle. This guy was hiding in plain sight to escape the police. His smart move didn't work out that well, though. It's going uh, eastbound Kenyon from right here. He has the yellow beanie on. That is a suspect in the car. He just backed down the one way. He's going eastbound from Wilcott. The police officers soon matched the vehicle to the suspect and darted off towards the robber. Seeing the cops coming after him, he darted out of the parking lot. That started an intense chase, and the robber ended up climbing over the pavements. Okay, might be stuck in traffic here. Approaching the fellow. No wonder he was trying to hide in the parking lot. He should be kept away from the streets. The man soon called off the chase and surrendered to the police. Westbound, Myrtle. Over! Front right tire is disabled. The car's coming to a stop. Right The man who tried. This guy stooped low enough to steal from an elderly woman. But that's not where his cowardice ended. The cops pulled a traffic stop on him and he surrendered immediately. But then he tried to run on foot, hopping here and there. He would have run on foot had the police officers not been on his head with firearms in their hands. Stopped in the middle. A robber had just driven out of the neighborhood with the stolen vehicle. The cops were quick to spot that and raced straight into the action. 
That led the two to an intense chase on the rain-soaked highway. With vision blurry and high speeds, one was bound to take a wrong turn. In this case, it was the robber, and he fell straight into a ditch where the officer collected him. The rainy chase. A robber was out on the run when the police caught a whiff of him. The next thing you know, sirens are blaring loudly, tires are screeching on the highway, and a fleet of cars is swerving and sliding on the road. The wind was all set for the officers, though. What do you expect? The stubborn robber. This guy has lost a tire, but the way he is driving, you'd think he could go all the way to Canada on this vehicle. Take him out! to almost prove that statement true. He went miles down the road and then even joined the traffic on the highway. Are we on 20? We're about 57 from Chestnut. This guy was blowing smoke out from his vehicle, almost tipping off balance, but he still pursued the chase. The cops had nothing on him. Signal 100, northbound in the southbound lane, 57 north of Chestnut. Then suddenly, the car took a slight turn and completely lost its balance. This to make matters worse, the cops blocked the crook halfway, forcing it to stop. He got arrested, but he should get an audition in the Fast and Furious movie. That's all, folks. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already. Which footage gave you a rush of adrenaline? Would you ever trade places with these cops? Was there any that sent you into a state of fear? Do share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.